Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 24 with me Craig Barton. Now one of my TV guilty pleasures is not Toei or Made in Chelsea, although I have been known to watch those every now and again, but no, my big one is the lateral thinking quiz on BBC4 presented by the lovely Victoria Curran which is known as Only Connect. And if it was up to me this would be compulsory viewing for all math teachers because it's absolutely brilliant. And I've often thought, I wonder if this would work in the maths classroom. Well, if anyone was going to make it work, it's going to be this man, Richard Tock. He is the man who's brought us Maths Pointless, which is an award-winning resource, absolutely phenomenal. And he's only gone and done it again with this. Only Connect Connecting Walls. Now, for those of you who haven't seen the show, this is a specific round on Only Connect where um, contestants are presented with a grid of 16 things and they've got to sort them into four connected groups of four. But the twist is that often one answer fits into more than one category. Um, it's probably best if I just show you how this works um, on the maths front. So these are uh, links to web, a website called PuzzGrid. Uh, which allows you to build these connecting walls and I'll talk about how perhaps your students could use these um, a little later. So here are the ones that uh, Richard has designed so far and they are um, they're ranked uh, medium, easy, hard or fiendish down here and there's quite a few of these on there. I'm going to just have a look at this this easy one because it's one of the only ones that, that I can do it at this, this time in the morning. So let's have a look here, number 2257. And it takes you to this website here and when you're ready you begin and you'll see straight away here's your time ticking three minutes so i'm up against the clock now if you look here the first thing that i spotted is these look like months here april october november december but the problem is of course you've got jan in the mix as well so if i try picking four of these let's say these four then that's not not a group there one of those must be miss uh, must be in the wrong group so if i try these four now that is a group which means oct as well as being october must stand for something else so this is the kind of way you've got to be thinking now let's have a look here i've got add uh pent hmm, let me have a look multiply and divide they look like they go together what else now you're probably screaming at me here from uh, from your laptops at home. Maybe brackets. Ah, okay, so maybe there's some kind of number operations or bid mass or bob mass. Now notice as well here, I've got a certain amount of lives and I can't afford to get too many wrong once the time reaches. I think it's about 30 seconds. Right, oh, hello, here we go. Hept and hex. Perhaps that's heptagon, hexagon, octagon, and pentagon so they are a group which leaves these left over there now what's even better is once you get to the end here you're challenged to actually write what the connections are between those so months of the year and bid mass bomb mass operations or whatever you think they are now this is a wonderful wonderful uh, resource that's got big potential i think uh, because for a start it works brilliantly on the interactive whiteboard because you just tap on these and they move exactly like it happens in the show if, if you've seen that but i'm thinking more to get the whole class involved you could project this up there and give them perhaps 10 minutes working in groups to see if they can come up with the four interconnecting groups themselves and then perhaps pick a team at random or maybe the first one that thinks they've finished to come to the board and see if they can come up with the groups. But if they make a mistake, send them straight back down and then get everybody else thinking again and perhaps have a little prize for the winner. But then there's bigger potential than that as well because this could work across all subjects, all ages and all abilities. So I'm thinking perhaps as a homework when I get back after the holidays, I'm going to set this for my students to see if they can come up with a connecting wall themselves. And then perhaps we'll enter this into this uh, this software, this website, because it's dead, dead easy to do it. And then how good would that be if students are actually creating connecting walls for each other? We're going to have a little connecting wall challenge, perhaps even creating them for the maths department for us teachers to have a go at. And I just think anything like this that gets students thinking, and it's quite like my diagnostic questions website, in the sense that to have a really good connecting wall, you've got to think not just of four groups, but things that can fit into more than one group. So perhaps bringing out a few misconceptions here. And it's a really deep level of thinking that's going on. So I think this is such a wonderful, wonderful idea. And I can't wait to use these more and more. Um, and if you create some uh, maths only connecting walls, or your students do, or you just have some experiences to share about how it's gone down in the classroom, then please hop back onto to this page and just share your comments uh, below in the, in the comments section. And I shall return with a fresh, brand new resource of the week next week. Take care and bye for now.